Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Newton Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to between um, Dr. Zakir Naik and Sabina. The title of this video says that she tried to teach um, Dr. Zakir Naik and end up embarrassing herself. I believe that this is going to be a very interesting um, video. So if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from this. So let's get on to this video and check this out. Yes, sister. Mic number four. Uh, good okay. evening, sir. Uh, my name is Sabina. I'm a student. Right. You gave an example about how we students, the youngsters, uh, shoot an arrow and draw a bullseye. Uh, I would just try to make the same sort of allegation to you. You shot an arrow, your arrow, uh, and drew your bullseye. And now, if anybody does not aim where you have aimed before, they are wrong. That, I think, is inconsiderate and inhuman. Sister asked a very important <laughs> question. When I gave the example, people shoot in the air and yeah. then draw the bullseye. She's saying and alleging, even I have yeah. done the same. <laughs> and if people don't agree, then I don't agree with them. Sister, please tell me where was my arrow wrong? Which part of my lecture was shooting the arrow in the air and drawing a bullseye? I gave example that people do graduation. Why do graduation? I don't know. What you'll do? I don't know. After passing, what job you'll take? I don't know. I gave example. Now you sister give me an example in my lecture. Which part of my lecture was shooting the arrow yeah, in the I air did. and drawing a bullseye? If not, then I would tell you that you are shooting in the air and then drawing the bullseye. But you already said it. Sister, which part of my lecture? I give you a chance to reply. Which part of my lecture was shooting in the air and then drawing a Your bull? part of the lecture was not shooting in the air. Mashallah, thank you the very much. Aim. The whole A was like the, why judging people by defining them on the terms of Islamic and what their purpose in life is only in terms of Islamic. You give me a better purpose of life. You why give me a give better purpose. Any? See, we are having open question and session. Anyone can yeah, differ with me. True. I'm not exactly. telling I'm always People right. People differ from you. You, you have the judge. right to differ. But when you differ, you have to give the reason. For example, I said 2 plus 3 is equal to 4. You say, no, it is not 4, it is 5. I'll ask you why. So if I say you something wrong, you have to prove me wrong. Just by saying 2 plus 2 is not equal to 4, you are educated, sister. Correct? So you, if you tell that I have done something, I agree with you. Prove me. But he, he keeps Kul on speaking. Kul hatu in kundum sadikin. Produce your proof if you are truthful. So tell me which part of my lecture. Or you tell me, is there any better purpose of life than to thank the creator, than to worship him? Yes, sister. <laughs> yes, please could you on the microphone of the sister? Yeah. She wants to educate us. I'm not trying to educate anyone. I, I want think to be educated. I'm a student sister. I love being educated. You Wait, may not but like you don't let educated. people speak. Sorry? You don't let people speak. You just go on and on. I'm giving I'm you a chance to speak, sister. Speak. There are differences and you cannot just, you know, convert everyone. Convert not in the sense of converting into Islam. Converting people's viewpoints. You know, there are differences. Sister, you are and not answering my question. You are beating around the bush. I'm not my beating question around the is, bush. What is That's the because purpose? you're presuming that you, I will answer whatever you want me to answer. No, sister. I'll answer it in my way. So you're always beating around the bush. So what is? I have heard so what is your the way? <laughs> oh, thank you, sister. Thank you for your comments. And we leave the audience to be the judge. How many people will follow you? How many people follow I me? Don't want we'll come to know later on. So next time when you give a lecture, I hope you get an audience which is big. So then they listen to your answer of purpose of creation, <laughs> sister. Oh my god, that was just a very interesting um, <laughs> video, of course, uh, she actually embarrasses uh, herself. I was thinking she was about to maybe probably make an instance about maybe her religious um, belief, which will differ from um, Islam and then gives her purpose of life and how 
humans are supposed to behave and then also conduct um, themselves. But then it seems like she just wanted to maybe talk for maybe talking sake or something of that um, nature because she didn't actually uh, make a point, you know, <laughs> with this very great opportunity she had uh, with um, Dr. Um, Zakir Naik. You know, if you look at it, um, like Dr. Zakir Naik is actually an Islamic um, scholar. So everything that he is going to teach you or say will have to be in according to how Islam or how the Quran have stated on how humans, you understand, are being created and then also our purpose on this um, very earth. So if the lady was to speak, maybe probably in the position of either the Christian or either of uh, the Buddhist, then she have to state the purpose of life according to the Buddhist um, religion. And then the same thing is also applicable to Christian. If you are to speak to someone and then convince the person about uh, the purpose of life, then you have to state it according to how Christianity or how the Bible have stated um, to be. Else otherwise, anything that you are going to say other than this, then I think that that is when you will be shooting in the air, just like <laughs> what um, Dr. Zakir Naik and this very young lady had a conversation at least. It was actually a very um, interesting one, but the one thing that all believers should know is that we are sent on this very earth on a temporal basis. Whatever we are doing is just like a result of a test. God has created us, He has given us in a sense a responsibilities to do, and then we are here on this um, very earth. And at the end of the day, when you live on this very earth, you are to return back to your maker and then you are going to give an account of what you did while you are here. And that is why um, every scholar, or should I say religious leaders, if given an opportunity, they always speak to people about uh, God's kingdom, about uh, the judgment day. For everyone to know that whatever you are doing here, you are going to leave this very place because at some point people normally forget that while they were here that they are going to return back to their maker and therefore get themselves endowed with some of the things in a sense happening on this very earth and some tend to even forget the purpose of why they are here on this um, very earth. And that is the reason why you see we keep on speaking to people, talking to people about their purpose on this very earth and how they should conduct themselves knowing fully well that we also have afterlife that is when we leave this very earth many hold on to some of this doctrine and then they turn on to god after hearing this word but then others head in their heart and then they do not accept these very um teachings and that is why we find ourselves where we are today. And that's why you see this very earth is full of corruption, full of so many things because people have forgotten that they are just here on a temporary base or they are not even going to leave this very earth with anything. Therefore, as we are here, we are to return back to the maker just, just as how we came to this very earth with nothing. Same thing is applicable, we are returning. Many have forgotten some of these things and then therefore get indulged with some of the happiness over here. And it is the enemy who is using this thing as a tool to get them to himself, knowing fully well that he don't want to end up in the lake of hellfire alone. So therefore he tried to get his own disciples so people end up becoming his disciple. And that's why we believers, we have to keep on what encouraging ourselves so that we should not end up in a stand where the devil want us to be but therefore end up seeing our maker for who he is because he created us and this is our goal as believers is to see him for who he is when we have that opportunity to be able to make it on the judgment day a very interesting video and i would like to say that when some of us have opportunity of listening to men of god then I think that we should rather listen to some of the word of wisdom they are going to give us rather than us going there to go and argue and then end up gaining um, nothing from it. I believe that some of us have taken note 
either you're a Muslim or a Christian, so whatever your religious um, belief is, I believe that we must have learned, you understand, in this um, video. And may God bless you all as I see you in my next um, video. So I also want you to drop your location. Tell me where you're actually commenting from and then keep on um, sharing my videos and God is going to bless you as you do so. So see you next week. May God bless you.